Let's continue with question number 11 on the Math 1105 final exam review. 5 raised to the 3x minus 7 power equals 125. That is referred to as an exponential equation. The reason? It's an equation. It's exponential because what I'm solving for is, is currently stuck up in the exponent position. The first approach you take when you're looking at an exponential equation is what you try to do is you try to get both sides of the equation to have the same base. Now this is a pretty straightforward exponential equation. You can't always make them have the same base. But if you can, that's really the best strategy. It's not the only one, but it's the best. 5 to the 3x minus 7 power is equal to Let's take the larger number. Okay, 5 was obviously the smaller. Let's take the larger. If you ask yourself a way to write 125 using 5 as the base, your answer would be 5 raised to the third power. Now, what actually happens here is the fact that 5 to the 3x minus 7 being equal to 5 to the third can only occur, I mean, that, that is only true, if the exponents themselves are equal. So on the very next line, what you do is you set the exponents equal to each other. Now, one fact that I do need to mention to be mathematically precise, what's really happening here, 5 to a power, 5 to a power, if you thought about the exponential function f of x equals 5 to the x power, that function is a one-to-one -one function. And the only way two results of that function can be the same is if the two inputs were the same. So basically, it's the one-to-oneness that's allowing us to do this. 3x minus 7 is equal to 3. And we finish. Very simple linear equation now. 3x is equal to 10. Paper's blowing away. There, I grab it. X is equal to 10 thirds. Now, the reason that I do not have to check this answer, in general, if you look at an exponential function, like, for example, 5 to the x power, the domain of an exponential function is all real numbers. So what you need to remember, if this were, had been a log equation where the domain is not, you know, where it's not going to be all reals, you would need to check it. But with exponential equations, you do not need to check your final answer. The solution set here is the set containing the answer 10 thirds. And again, beautiful day. All right, enjoy yourself. Study.